Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope all you are having a great time, especially around this new moon in Aquarius. In this video, I want to talk about the effects of this new moon that will be happening in the sign of Aquarius at 20 degrees. So Aquarius is all about hopes, wishes, goals, and this matches exactly with this new moon energy that is about setting new intentions around the themes of each house that the new moon um, is happening. Now, the effect of this new moon will be felt three days before and three days after, and expect some conclusion around this after six months, um, around mid-August, and this will be happening, the full moon, in the sign of Leo. So, whatever you set intentions around this time will be finalized after six months. So, this is the right time to set manifestations uh, and manifest whatever you are wishing for and especially aligning with the themes of the houses. This will be for each of your sign. Now, I recommend watching this video from the perspective of your sun sign and the rising sign. Now, who will be affected the most? Because this will be happening in 20 degrees Aquarius, look for any personal planets, planets that are or points uh, that you have in your birth chart. Look at the house in your Aquarius house and see if you have any points or planets around 19 to 21 degrees. This will be much more in focus for Aquarius, but also for other fixed signs for Taurus, Leo and Scorpio. So let's have a look for Aquarius here. For Leo, it will be in opposition. And we have squares with Taurus and Scorpio. Now, what aspects will be in place? We have a square to Uranus, 90 degrees. Uh, it tells me that it will be something unexpected, out of the blue, around the themes of this new moon, that you cannot predict about this. Also, we have a sextile to the North Node, it tells me that this is a faded event. You are somehow encouraged to move forward and to leave uh, what, whatever has not have uh, what has not worked in the past to leave in the past. Not only that, but later this month we will have Mars and Venus, all those together, ingressing into Aquarius, putting much more focus in this house. So, whatever you plant the seeds around this new moon will have even more support by Mars and Venus uh, when they will move later this month. Now, let's see first a quick overview for each sign and then I will go with details for each one. So, Aries expect some emphasis or focus around your groups or friends. Uh, Taurus, it is about your career. So focus in the career will be emphasized. We have Gemini. If you have plans to travel especially, this is a good time. Uh, Cancer for investments or intimacy. Leo for committing to something important or resetting your current relationship. Virgo, it is around health or routines. Libra, dating and love. Scorpio, family matters. Sagittarius, short distance travel or uh, around themes of communication. Capricorn, uh, money, finances. Aquarius, it's about uh, a new you, 
being reborn, setting new intentions about how do you want uh, the new year ahead. And Pisces, this is a time to relax and take some time off or focus on spirituality. So love is emphasized for Libra and uh, Leo especially. The money and career is for Taurus and Capricorn. Now let's continue with each sign and let's get into details. Starting with Aries. Aries, uh, the new moon will be happening in your 11th house, 20 degree Aquarius, and this will be in square to Uranus, that is in your second house, and it will be sextiling your ascendant and your north node in the first house. So what does it mean? How can we connect those together? It seems to me like uh, you may start being involved to new groups, new communities, uh, starting new friendships, or even starting new goals. Now, this square to Uranus tells me that maybe some friends or your community will help you with your financial goals or through them you can get new clients or you will be setting new goals around finances. Now, because this is sextiling your ascendant and the north node, you will be seen, uh, you will feel seen and appreciated by your community. So, these goals will move you forward your destiny. So, that was it for Aries. Now, let's jump to Taurus. Taurus. This new moon will be happening in 20 degrees Aquarius in your 10th house. That is your focus on career, life path and visibility. It will be squaring Uranus that is in your first house. So you're ready just now. You seem like you are rebelling. You don't want to wait anymore. And this is related to your life path or your career. Now this is enough. You may want to have that promotion or to change your career, maybe starting a new job and you are very determined to do that. So it is about focus where you want to be in your career or where you want to be in life. The sextile to the North Node that is in your 12th house tells me that this has been bothering you for quite some time this idea of where you want to be in your life or having more visibility or not getting that much fulfillment in your career anymore has been affecting your mental health or your state of uh, emotionally or psychologically. So you are ready to make that move and start something completely new. For, for me, it seems like for most of you, Taurus, it is a new path in your career. So good luck about that Taurus and let's continue with Gemini. This new moon will be happening in your ninth house, the house of uh, travel, of education, of uh, big picture or uh, vision and life perspective. It will be square in Uranus that is in your 12th house. I see you maybe starting to travel or planning trips. Some of you will be starting a new education or changing or creating a new belief system. Or you may create a new big picture on how you view your life right now. You may meet a new teacher as well. Now, with Uranus in your 12th house, seems to me like you are starting a new belief system or you will 
you will be creating a new perspective on your life in order to feel more peaceful inside yourself. You may not be happy and uh, view this current position as very self-limiting. The way you viewed the world before was limited and it affected you emotionally in the past. And now you may want to travel, you may want to expand your horizons and learn about new cultures or philosophies or creating a new belief system or you will be guided by a new teacher and uh, sextile to the north node tells me that you have new goals now and that you may travel with friends or a friend as well that is a possibility so good luck with that gemini and let's continue with cancer this new moon cancer will be happening in your eighth house it is a house of shared resources investments intimacy and transformation so probably you will be setting intentions to deal with emotional deep-rooted issues and healing them trying to heal those wounds that are deep-seated uh, that you may have not wanted to deal before. You may be starting to invest in yourself. And with this square to Uranus that is in the 11th house, if you have debts, financial problems, friends may be of help and support you. Uh, friends that may be wealthier or through their connections. If you want to invest, a group of friends may help as well. I see you setting new goals to invest in yourself or goals to have some financial investments for some of you because this is the house of friends and community maybe changing friends may affect you around this time psychologically maybe you have to separate paths with some long-term friendships that are no longer serving you so that's what I'm getting for you, Cancer. And let's continue with Leo. Leo, your new moon will be happening in your seventh house, 20 degrees Aquarius. It will be sextiling Uranus in your 10th house and uh, sextiling the North Node in the 9th house. The seventh house is the house of relationships of partnerships and clients so if you are in a relationship this means a new restart in that relationship and you discuss about what is next or how to refresh it can it be repaired and if you are single this may be an important time of the year when you will be meeting somebody that will be probably your long-term partner and if you are in a relationship but you haven't committed yet you may be making an important decision to get married now the square to uranus in your 10th house that is the house of visibility and career it tells me that these new changes in relationships will affect you somehow your career or your visibility by others Getting married or making the connection formal uh, is now visible to others. Or for some of you, this may mean starting some very important business partnerships. And those business partnerships may fuel strongly your career in the right direction. Or you may have a partnership with a manager that may help you even more in your career. Because you have as well uh, Chiron and the North Node in the ninth, ho ninth house, probably either you will be formalizing this relationship like getting married abroad or you will be meeting this important person that lives abroad or has a different uh, culture from you, is a foreigner, or you may decide to get married in another country 
or you may meet this uh, uh, manager or create this business partnership with somebody that lives abroad. So that's uh, what I have for you, Leo, and good luck, and let's continue with Virgo. Virgo, this new moon will be happening in your sixth house, 20 degrees Aquarius. It will be square Uranus, that is in your ninth house, and sextiling the north node that is in your eighth house. Now, the sixth house is about health goals, health regimens, probably joining a gym, a new diet, creating new habits, resetting the habits, new daily routines, or maybe creating a new work environment, especially if you work as a freelancer or work from home, or you may be even changing how uh, your office looks. So overall, it is creating a new schedule, changing your work environment or creating new health patterns. With Uranus in your uh, ninth house, you may be learning new things about health and diet that is new to you. Maybe a foreign culture, something um, in another language you read, like a magazine or a book. And you may adopt this new ideas about your health and your diet. Or maybe you will be going to school or upgrading your education and this may change your schedule or routine. Some of you may want to travel and so you have to adapt a new overall schedule as well. That's what I have for you Virgo, good luck and now let's continue with Libra. Libra, the new moon in Aquarius will be happening in your 5th house. It will be squaring Uranus in your 8th house and sextiling uh, the north node that is in your 7th house. Now, the 5th house is the house of creative projects or expressing yourself in a very unique and original, original way. Probably initiating dating. You may be dating others. So... If you are single, uh, be around and especially with this being in the sign of Aquarius, that is the sign of technology, uh, maybe opening a dating app or being more focused there. Uh, probably some of you will be meeting someone through social media, something like that. It is the birth of a new romance or starting a new hobby taking some new side projects and especially if you are interested into your ex expanding your family or uh, this may be a good opportunity to have a baby so just be aware of that and if you have children this may be more focus on communication with your child or children now uranus in your eighth house it is the house of investments and intimacy maybe you will take initiative for investment with a side project with a hobby that you had and have been thinking for quite some time or a new person you start dating may lead to more intimacy and you uh, finally start being more vulnerable and open to love now sextiling to the North node that is in your seventh house tells me that this uh, new love, this new beginning may lead to a serious partnership as well. And this seems quite faded. But keep in mind that Chiron is here and Chiron is in the sign of Aries. You may have some lack of trust into yourself. Just keep aware of this and be aware that it does not... Uh, sabotage your efforts to be in a serious commitment so that's what i have for you libra good luck and let's continue with scorpio scorpio the new moon will be happening in the sign of aquarius 20 degrees in your fourth house it will be a square in uranus in your seventh house exiling Chiron 
or especially the North Node in your 6th house. What does it mean? So focus will be around family. There will be a new restart of your rela relationship with your family. Uh, maybe some of you will initiate a new home relocation, moving home or buying a new house. Now, what about uh, this uh, square to Uranus in your seventh house? Probably this new relationship with your family or a family member, some dynamics in this relationship, uh, maybe improving those connections or if, if there has been some problems around your family, uh, around communication, something like that will have an impact on your relationship with your partner especially if you have if you are in a partnership it may be a romantic partnership or a business partnership but it will be it will be having an effect on that or maybe you will be uh, changing home and moving in with another person like your partner or moving home will help you meet new people because the seventh house is the house of other people and you may find your partner because at your current location you don't have much opportunities. So that's what we have for you Scorpio and this uh, sextile to the North Node it will affect your routine and work life as well. You have to make some changes in your routine maybe if you are relocating if you're moving in with somebody new, with your partner, probably deciding to do that, this will change your routine. So probably some changes around home. So that was for you, Scorpio. Good luck. And now continuing with uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the new moon will be happening in Aquarius in your third house, 20 degrees Aquarius. It will be squaring Uranus in your sixth house and sextiling the north node in your fifth house. The third house is the house of communication or short distant, distance traveling. Some of you will be planning new short road trips or will be expressing ideas in a more original way because it is the sign of Aquarius very original as a sign some of you will be starting a new course a new study maybe getting a new car bicycle is possible probably signing important documents or there may be some dynamics in communication with your siblings some of you will be changing your neighborhood or there's some changes that, that is happening around your neighborhood or simply you will be focused on writing, journaling or writing a new blog post if you have a website. Now the square to Uranus in your sixth house, the house of routine, of uh, health and work. Probably you will be thinking of new ways, of original ways on how to better manage your health or your routine or your work overload. Some of you may be journaling and reflecting about your work dynamics as well. And with this uh, sextile to the North Node, some of you will be putting much more focus into a creative project or a hobby. That's what I'm getting for you Sagittarius. Good luck, and now let's continue with Capricorn. Capricorn, the new moon will be happening in the sign of Aquarius 20 degrees in your second house. It will be square in Uranus in your fifth house and sextiling the north node in the fourth house. This is the house of money, of self-worth, of skills and talents. I see new financial opportunities for you, probably you developing new skills that will improve your self-confidence, so you will be investing in yourself through new skills and maybe improve your finances, resources as well as a result of improving those skills or learning about something new. 
Uranus is squaring uh, this new moon. Uh, now, what new skills do I need to develop in order to have more fun or to make it more enjoyable? Not, not for it to see like duty or work or how can I support my hobbies? Maybe investing something, spending to support one of your hobbies, maybe um, engaging in a course, starting a course or buying a new book, something like that, investing money in order to uh, uh, upgrade your skills or just support one of your hobbies and take it more seriously. Overall, I'm getting financial abundance and opportunities, so just be aware of this. So that's what I'm getting for you, Capricorn. Good luck and let's continue with Aquarius. Aquarius. Now, happy birthday. Uh, I know this is your season, especially if you have the uh, birthday birth date around this time. This will be a very important new moon for you for the whole year. The new moon will be happening in your first house. It is the house of you, of physical health, of how you view the world, your perspective. It will be uh, squaring Uranus in your fourth house and sextiling as well the north node in the third house. So this is the new you. This is the new moon of personal transformation, of setting new intentions for yourself. How do you want to be or what plans do you have about this new year, especially around yourself, how you present yourself. Some of you will probably think about changing looks or uh, changing the perspective, especially in how you view life at around this time. And why do I say that? It is because the square to Uranus in the fourth house, that is the house of the past, of family, or the location, home location, you will be creating possibly a new you and will be leaving behind the past, something that has not been working anymore, the past old patterns that are not serving you, maybe leaving be behind as well family dramas or moving to a new location, changing home and you are starting a new life, something like that. And you have been thinking a lot about this with this uh, sextile to the North Node. You seem more courageous than ever and there's lots of planning that you may have been doing or you may start doing about this uh, change on how you look or about your perspective on life or maybe changing your home location and just leaving past uh, leaving behind the past patterns that uh, do not serve you anymore that's what i have for you aquarius good luck and let's continue with pisces Pisces, this new moon in Aquarius will be happening in your 12th house, the house of hidden things, of spirituality, of the dreams, and it will be happening in 20 degrees Aquarius, it will be squaring Uranus in your third house and sextiling as well your north node in your second house. So you may be initiating new inner changes. It's a time to reset, to rest, to start to explore something spiritual. It is a time to be by yourself, alone, in a good way. Recommended to be quiet and take some time to be alone with yourself and reflect. This square to Uranus in your third house tells me that you should take some time off 
otherwise you may be feel stressed about overthinking and wanting to do all different things at once you may be starting to learn about spirituality about tarot astrology you may start having some interest around uh, those topics and areas as well or you may be having some insights in your dreams and you may be starting to journal about this and have more insights and uh, self-reflection so overall this is a time not to be very active but to be reflective and to rest and you will be very ready for another season that will be your season Pisces very active it is your birthday and this time to rest and have some time off and recuperate and recover is needed because you will be a very uh, you will be very active very soon so take some time off reflect and don't rush anything that's what we have for you pisces and with this we are at the end of this video thank you very much for watching 